Hello, this is John with Brainstorm Comics and Gaming. Uh, for those of you who are new to this video series, the purpose of it is to let you know what comic books are coming out three weeks from now. Actually, I think this one's for four weeks from now. I think it's for May 29th. If you see something that you do want, let us know. You can either email us at brainstormcomics at verizon.net or you can give us a phone call at 301-663-3039. Just to go over quickly uh, what the final order cutoff date is, for those who don't know, the distributor, Diamond Comics, allows us to adjust our orders either up or down uh, three or four weeks prior to release. The idea is that you let us know so we can either order more, order less. That's basically what the goal of the video series is. Uh, so let's jump into this week's comics. First up from Dark Horse Comics, we have Bad Luck Chuck. Uh, this one is part three of a four-part miniseries. I like this one a lot. Uh, for the most part, it reminds me of Alias by Brian Michael Bendis, but a little bit more subtle than that in its delivery. Uh, for those who are not reading, Charlene, Charlene Chuck Manchester has a streak of bad luck that follows her wherever she goes. Instead of letting that bad luck hold her back, though, she decides to use it to her benefit by renting it out to those who need it. For instance, if a business is failing and they have insurance on their, on their store, she would rent out her services so the store would burn down and they could collect the insurance money. Um, this one's been pretty, pretty good so far. I definitely check it out. Uh, recommend that you guys check it out. Next up is Stranger Things 6, number one. The Mac variant cover for this one I think is really cool. This is a prequel series showing how Six got to where she was at the beginning of season one. Uh, so for those of you who want to see like the background, how things ended up with the way they did, definitely check this one out. Next up, we have Detective Comics Annual number two. Um, the solicit for this one really, really hooked me. It's by, again by Peter Tomasi. He's been doing some great stuff. Uh, ever since his run on Superman, I, I've really been a fan of his. So the solicit for this one reads, after years on the shelf, Batman returns to the Black Case book. Throughout his career, Batman has compiled his most disturbing cases into one volume. It's every page filled with bizarre horror and crimes he never quite managed to solve. Now a case from the past has reopened itself in the here and now, and Batman will find himself face to face again with one of the deadliest villains he fought in his earliest years, the Reaper. So like I said, that one sounds pretty cool to me. Um, the cases that Batman hasn't been able to solve, so I'm, look, I'm, I'm hoping this one is a good one. Next up is Outtakes, a hardcover book. Um, this one is a parody series or a parody hardcover of some top Hollywood movies. The cover art looks really cool, so I'm interested to see what this one looks like. The uh, solicit reads, hilarious parodies of the most famous and recognizable properties of the big screen. Laugh at the film industry and the characters that populate its ranks in this book of vignettes perfect for pop culture and film lovers. What happens when a Wookiee goes to the vet? When E.T. meets the men in black? When a house hanging from balloons floats into a Hitchcock scene? When a pirate needs to fix his eye eyeliner? Find these answers and more in this brilliant book of strips that reveal what's happening on the set of your favorite movies when the cameras aren't rolling. Next up is, an, is another collected edition. This one is Ice Cream, Ice Cream Man, Volume 3, Hopscotch Melange. Uh, for those of you who are not reading this one, it's a series very similar to the old EC books. Each, each issue is kind of its own sort of standalone story. If you're a fan of horror, definitely check this one out. Some cool off-kilter stories, especially one if you're not looking for like superhero books, this one is definitely one that you may want to look at. Next up is Daredevil number six. Uh, unfortunately, the cover for this one is not was not available as we were doing this. Uh, as I was doing the write-up for it, hopefully it's available by the time we have the video up. Um, Chuck or Chip Zdarsky is doing some some great stuff on the book. In this issue, Daredevil is nowhere to be found, which emboldens those who would do harm to others. So it sounds like it's definitely setting up uh, some cool bad guys in that one. Next up is Fantastic Four number ten. This one has a couple things going for it. Number one is a tie-in to the War of the Realms series going on right now. That's that miniseries has gotten some po very positive reviews in the early going. So if you want to follow the full story, this is def this is one of the tie-ins. And then the second thing it has going for it is a Matteo Scalera cover. I like I like his art style a lot. I think he could definitely fit into some some books. I would love to see some. Some ongoing uh, work from him on some of the titles out there, especially like the horror ones. He has that kind of feel to his artwork. 
Next up, we have Immortal Hulk, number 18. Al Ewing is crafting a great story in this one, drawing in readers and critics alike. Uh, going down as one of the all-time classic Hulk runs in just the year, year and a half that he's been working on it. If you haven't been reading, there are two graphic novels out, two collected editions out. Um, Ewing is weaving a horror story with the man-monster dynamic that, you, that we really haven't seen before for the character. If you haven't been reading, check that one out. Next up is Major X number four. We've been doing really well with this one. We've been selling out of each issue. I know a lot of people are excited about the new character. So if you want a copy of that one, definitely let us know so we can add it to your pull box though. Next up, we have Star Wars, the original Marvel Years, number 108. So this one's kind of interesting in that it's not necessarily a new series. What they're doing is they're taking the old series um, that Marvel did in the 70s and ended with issue 107. And they're continuing as if it, it had never ended, so it's picking up where 107 left off. I don't know whether they're going to stick strictly to the Expanded Universe canon. Um, I, I would assume that's what they're going to do, but obviously I don't know for sure. So... Fans of the Expanded Universe might might want to check this one out and see whether that's the path they're going down for that one. Next up, we have Star Wars Vader, Dark Visions number four. This is the Federici cover. Uh, the cover isn't available for us to see yet. It's a 1 in 25 variant. And the reason I picked this one, though, is Federici is quickly becoming one of my favorite artists. Uh, he has a cool horror look to his stuff as well. I could definitely see him doing some, some awesome books like Spectre or even Ghost Rider. I think he could add a cool dynamic to that if he could do some uh, some of those. Next up, we have Thor number 13, the Alex Ross Marvel's 25th anniversary cover. So Marvel's going to be doing a series of theme variants based on the Marvel's 25th anniversary. This one's actually done by Alex Ross. Uh, it has kind of like a uh, Norman Rockwell feel to it. It's Thor hanging out in the diner, if you can see in the picture here. I, I think these series of covers are just going to be amazing. Obviously, Alex Ross is, is a great artist. He's been around for 30, 30 years at this point, so continuing to pro provide some great painted painted covers. Uh, plus, this one is a War of the Realms tie-in as well. We do have a lot of this one on order. This one is an order all you want. So if you want this one and let us know, I can, let, I can put it in your box. There won't be an additional charge if you let me know ahead of time. War of the Realms number 5 is the next one. Marvel's big event of early 2019 is drawing to a close. Art Adams provides a great cover to this one. Um, this one's going to have an epic battle in it where almost everybody in the Marvel Universe, Marvel Universe is on call. Definitely check that one out, especially if you're into big, 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 big events. The last one we have up is Angel number 1. It is uh, for fans of, of Buffy, yeah, if you're missing the character, this is a great opportunity to jump into a new series. They had the Zero issue come out two weeks ago, so if you want this one on your pool list, let us know. Buffy's always been a popular franchise, so. And that's the books that we have for this week. If there was any books that you want us to hold for you, uh, definitely let us know. You can either call us at 301-663-3039, or you can email us at brainstormcomics at verizon.net. Thank you for watching, and see you next week.